There's been a lot of confusion about uh, 12 volt lighting. I've had a lot of questions. Um, first of all and foremost, I am not an electrician. So anything that I'm telling you to do, if you have any questions about it, you might want to check with the local electrician. Um, but like I said, th this is just things that I have done and, and things that I have learned. Now, as far as the LED lighting goes, you can get, you can find all kinds of LED lights. This is a bar light and it uh, just slides up in there. But any kind of, anytime you see a, a light fixture with a whole bunch of little LEDs, those are not high output LEDs and you will not be happy with the, with the brightness, the, the light output that they put out. They make what's called a super LED or a SMD LED and uh, their bulbs typically uh, have four, five, six, seven, eight LEDs and that's all they have and they put out 300, 500 lumens. So you will be happy with those and they're real low wattage. Uh, 3 watts, 5 watts, 7 watts, 8 watts is typical and an 8 watt LED light fixture probably would put out about 500 lumens so you, yeah you would be very happy with that. Uh, now this, I'll back up, this is a, a, a light, a lamp that I bought at Walmart. Just a standard lamp, had a 110 volt plug on the end and what I did was I, I cut off the end, the plug end, and you can see here where I wired on a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. And that would plug into the adapter like that. And then that would hook on with the battery clips to your battery. Now you can go with table lamps and what's nice about doing the 12 volt wiring for a lamp or a light fixture, if you wire it backwards, it just won't work. So swap the wires around. So if this light wouldn't work, swap these wires around. In other words, take these two wires here and flip them around and then connect them back. That would reverse the polarity to the light fixture and then it should work. And uh, you won't damage anything by doing that. Uh, any time that you're going to be wiring anything to a battery positive terminal, you should always, 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 and there it is, put in a fuse. Now, this here is a 12 volt, and I know it has a plug right there that you can see it for a 110 volt, but when you wire it for 12 volt, it will not work for 110 volt since it's only going to be 12 volt. Now, I'm going to pull this chain. Hopefully I can do it one-handed. There we go. And that's just working off those two little 6-volt batteries. But there's my fuse. So if you're going to run a wire off batteries and run it off somewhere, uh, and then uh, you can see underneath here, it's just wired to the two terminals. And again, if you do all that and hook it all up and the white light won't light up, reverse the reverse the uh, wiring. Swap the one wire to the other side and and just retighten the connections and then it should work. Now obviously a 110 volt light fixture will not work in a 12 volt system. So don't try it. And, uh, and obviously a 12 volt light fixture will not will not and probably will burn up or blow up or something if you try to screw it into a uh, a light fixture that's wired uh, for 110. So you don't want to swap anything like that. Um, what I do is my bulbs, my bulbs that aren't marked clearly 12 volt, I take a felt marker and I, I write on them that they're 12 volt. So I don't know if you can see it, but right there it says 12 volt. So, and uh, also if I'm going to have a, a very long run of wires. Turn this light off here. What I do is that I buy a, I buy a 15 foot extension cord that I can get for like $3.99 at Walmart and I cut off the plug ends on both ends and uh, that way I've got twin wires 
and I just uh, run that wherever I need to run it and, and uh, it's 12 volt and what's nice about 12 volt you can get all the lighting that you need and it's it's safe as long as you don't cross the wires short them out and that's again that's why you need a fuse so that if you ever accidentally touch two bare wires like if you're trying to do some wiring and uh, you got wires that are like this that are just happen to touch on the end and the other end is wired to a battery it'll spark and it'll get that wiring real hot it could even melt it it can even start a fire that's why when any anytime you want to hook up wiring directly off a positive terminal and run it off somewhere wire in a fuse first thing that way if something accidentally touches it'll blow the fuse and that's all it'll do so there you have it. I hope that clears up some questions. Thank you.